This is home to me. Vique Quente, Penisola Sorrentina. It's located between Pompeii and Sorrento. Take a look. There's the Vesuvius right in front of us. The local beach. And right up, it, up this road is where I grew up. Welcome to my hometown of Vique Quente. We are my local uh, fish store. Take a look at what we have. Right here we have the fresh lychee, which are anchovies. Further down, this is all blue fish. Take a look. This is a trilla. This is what gets fried with shrimps and calamari. Let's move over and let's go look at the clams. Okay. Here we have these beautiful baby clams. Take a look at the size of them. Uh, they resemble a lot of our manila clams. Uh, these are the fasolari, which is uh, a little bit of a different kind of clam. And right here are the fresh mussels. It's the end of the day. So the, of course, we got up late because of the jet lag. And unfortunately, we don't, um, it's not a large assortment right now. I want, let's move over to the calamari. I want to show you. Uh, in America, we call them all calamari, but they're different. I want to show you these are sepia, and these are the calamari right there. But I want to show you something else which is totally amazing, which is the totani. Totani are. Ciao, Elena. Come sta? Tutto a posto. Enzo, fai vedere a Elena. The totani are slighter, shorter tentacles, and it's a much tender uh, in the calamari uh, family. Much, much tender than calamari. This is indeed a little corner of paradise. Okay, we're ready to cook. We got the clams this morning, we're ready to cook. I have Rosetta, I have my beautiful Dio Enzo. Let's get going. Carmine, you wanna do Chuck? Chuck, Chuck si gira. gira. Okay, perfecto. Monica, stop laughing. All right, the clams are right here. Let's move over to the stove and uh, we'll see. We're cooking about a little over two pounds, one kilo of spaghetti. So you need a lot of condimento, a lot of the oil, the garlic, uh, the clams. Uh, Dio Enzo already steamed some clams and removed them from the shells. Now, come closer and let's see what's next. Okay, we have a little issue right here. They're both amazing cooks and they're having a little bit of a quarrel over what they need to do next. Rosetta, <laughs> vero? Chi cucina meglio, tu o Dio Enzo? No, Dio Enzo, dai. Dio Enzo, she's saying that he's the better cook. I don't know, I doubt it, I doubt her. She's only been nice. Gioetto, Rosetta, come cucina? Benissimo! Eh, Gioetto is being very kind too. They're removing the uh, uh, clam out of the shell, so otherwise if there's too many shells, you don't really enjoy the spaghetto. They're doing a great job. Beautiful large frying pan with all cloves of garlic so they could be removed. That's a little bit of the difference here in Italy. They tend to add the garlic and remove it. So Dio Enzo, abbiamo messo l'olio extra vergine. Look at that beautiful, uh, gorgeous gold, co green color. And you know what he's putting? That's olio santo. Olio santo is a spicy oil that I also make back in the States. Okay, right here we have a big pot of water for our kilo of pasta. Ecco qua, Dio Enzo, ora che facciamo? Another very Italian thing is just adding a few, go ahead Dio Enzo, go ahead. Ecco qua, cherry tomatoes from Rosetta's garden, just to give it that little touch of red, but no sauce, absolutely no sauce. Just a little touch of red. Vongole veraci to make with spaghetti. <laughs> by, by the way, they're not fighting. Okay, keep keep taping. 
They're not fighting. This is normal. This is we're in Napoli. Normale. Allora, vieni bella, vieni. Che devo fare? Niente. Relax. Relax, I gotta relax. Mi okay. devo rilassare. Okay. 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 Another important thing, which is what I always talk about, is that uh, it's all about the size, the parts, the amount. So, Zoenzo, since we're making a kilo of pasta, which is over two pounds, he decided he's gonna use another frying pan and start the process over with the vongole and then combine everything together. So, Diego, take it away. Okay. okay. All right, I'm gonna move out of the way before I get yelled at. All right, so there he goes, the tomatoes. He was checking for salt, so he added a little bit more. That's always important because when you buy seafood, they contain their own salt. You don't want to do it, otherwise you end up with salty uh, meal. Pastificio di Martino di Gragnano, which is a couple towns over. Okay, Rosetta, Italian style. Never ever break the spaghetti, not for something like this. Okay, this is the busy moment that we need to, um, you don't want to overcook the spaghetti because that's when the arguments start in the kitchen. Delicious, Dio Enzo? I think so, yes. <laughs> Perfect. There it goes. See, the spaghetti's still al dente. And the last minute, he's gonna finish cooking it up in the uh, vongole, I'm sorry, with the a um, little bit of the starchy water from the spaghetti, and that gives it total creaminess. Fatto Dio Enzo. Perfetto. Rosetta, the assistant chef, came back. Okay, tutto bene Rosetta? Sì, sì, tutto a posto. Basta Enzo. Ne metto ancora. Yes, Rosetta is a fan of adding a little bit of uh, olive oil at the end for extra condimento. You can see just a little bit of the tomatoes in it and that's it. Very important is the parsley. Non può mancare il prezzemolo, vedo lo zio Enzo? Sì, ecco qua. A cascata, a cascata. A cascata. A cascata. Cascata is uh, in waterfall, so a uh, lot of fresh uh, parsley in it. So, we're ready to eat. La, la, la pasta non aspetta nessuno. Siamo pronti, zio Enzo? Ecco qua. Now we're going to plate. Look at these beautiful ceramic plates. They're local in the area. Absolutely gorgeous. There it goes. They're plating now. And as you can see, the clams that he, uh, the extra clams he made, is going to use that to top every plate. I need one plate. 
Okay, now there's a little argument who sits where. Let's move over to the table. Look how beautiful it's the Thank you to Rosetta and family, Dio Angel, you know I love you. Look at the one for yes, Ferdinando, little Rosa. There's Daria, everybody's here today. Grazie, arrivederci alla prossima. Ciao, ciao.